Good morning. Monday morning coffee. How are you guys doing? Just looking, where am I? Am I here? Can you see me guys? Can you hear me? Just put me a, a little emoji, a little hi to see if you see me. I think you do actually. Yes. I see there's some people connecting. Good morning. As well, like uh, tell me, yes, perfect, Maybrid. Maybrid is in Denmark, is that correct? Uh, tell me as well, put a comment in the comment box. Uh, where are you listening from? Um, send me a heart, like a little thumbs up. Like, I don't know what this, this emoji with like a heart in his arms. Hello, hey bro, mota mota. Um, yes, Denmark Maybrit is perfect. Ramiro just connected. So tell me like, again, where, where you are. Hola from Mexico City, Mexico City, just a beautiful, beautiful city. Um, one of my favorite place in the world, actually. So much culture and a lot of people are not aware, Danduin just joined. A lot of people are not aware of the beauty and the, uh, like how big Mexico City is. Like you probably know, uh, Dominique, double man. Um, such a beautiful city. Do you know that there's a park in the middle of Mexico City that is, I think it's three times the size of Central Park in New York. And uh, you've got castle there, you've got lakes, you've got like so many things, uh, very green right in the middle of the city and people are not aware. Copenhagen, Spain, uh, I know Quebec is there, Mexico City, beautiful. Um, so as you just heard, like, if you are connecting, just let us know, drop something into the comments. Where are you from? And, and, um, say a little hi, send me a little emoji. Uh, Avril, you should be proud of your, your country. Um, again, love, love, love Mexico. It's been a Chapultepec park. That's exactly what she's talking about. And a lot of people are not even aware uh, of that because it is not, it is not talked about. But when you go there, it's just like spectacular. Uh, again, one of my favorite place to go. I want to talk about something with you today, which uh, which I used to be part of. This I used to be part of that group, the almost group, and just. Just think about what it means. Roberto Ibarra is here. Good morning. Barbara just joined. Alicia. Uh, good morning. Is that your case? Are you part of the almost group? Meaning you, you almost made it. You almost got the promotion. You almost a leader. You almost succeeded because being almost means nothing you either you do or you don't and i used to be part of the almost group and it is it is so and the, the only person you're fooling by almost succeeding is yourself Christian, good morning. Abraham just joined. You are fooling yourself by saying, yeah, I almost made it. Well, but you didn't. So why are you, why are you like fooling yourself by, by putting your energy on almost doing something where ultimately it doesn't serve you in any way? What we should be doing is we should be double up on our activities and then start doing it. Not almost doing it, doing it. 
And like, I remember the, the, the first time into my business when, when I started, uh, when, when I was just right, I was almost there, right? So every qualification to, to get into the special group that we have in our company, and when I say special, it's not that we're special, but like you have, you have extra attention, extra treatment, like you, you're getting gift, like you're getting spoiled uh, with a bunch of gifts and, and extra training and all kinds of different things, which like means a lot into your, into your progression, into, into your, your career. And I was almost there for a year and a half, almost there. But the, the thing is, I was tricking myself by being almost there. The truth is the, the people which almost make it are not lazy. In a lot of cases is they are working, working very, very hard. They are putting a lot of effort into it. They are, they are really busy. But the thing is, they don't know how to be efficient. And if you don't know how to be efficient is you're doing a lot of things, but all those things are not leading anywhere. You are caught up into futility and details. And I'll tell you a good story about this one. Francisco Martinez just joined. Zaila, Claudia, Monica, welcome. Drop a little emoji into the comment box. Let us know where you are listening from. So when you cut up into all those details and listen to the story, I was conducting a, a workshop last week in Spanish. And uh, one guy was, was irritated because he was looking at the, the decor I have in the back. And he's just like, oh, uh, this thing looks fake. And, and he was just like, gosh, man. This, this is where in everything that I talked about, this is where your attention is. No wonder you don't have the results you want because your attention is on the wrong things. And this is the problem with most people that almost make it is their attention is on futility, things that is not generating results. New York or NC, no, it's not New York. It's North Carolina, I would say. So if you're focusing on, on futility, how are you going to be able to create the true results? Which is attention was not on, oh, I can use this and I can implement this into my life. It's just like, oh, this decor is not, uh, is not real. I mean, what the heck, man? Where is your attention? So you really have to start looking at how are you utilizing your time to create the results that you want so you can start creating everything that you want, right? The almost will never bring you where you want to go. Kala, good morning. Welcome. Christian, Christian is saying like, uh, is in Los Cabos and he wishes that there would be subtitles, Spanish subtitle so he can spread the voice to his non-English spoken contacts. The truth is this is for speech, uh, English speaking people into my group. I have a group with non English speaking or Spanish speaking. So like it is, it's not, and, and it goes as well with this almost group. When you are thinking, oh, I wish this could happen or I wish that, this is where that your attention is on the wrong thing. 
is you should be fully present into what you're currently doing right now and put and put your 100% into what you're doing and not focusing on oh but if that would be like this maybe we could do something different no because it's not like that so right now your attention should be on okay this is what i'm doing this is what i'm getting how can i respond to this and how can i create something really really good with this That's the way to do it. And the efficiency that we have goes directly with how are we managing our activities. And most people are not capable of managing the activities. So they almost make it, right? This, this, is, something, this is something you gotta get out of your mind. And if you don't know how to do it, that is exactly why you're hiring a coach you're hiring a mentor, you're hiring someone that will help you to be efficient into activities. And this is something that we're doing. And our methodology is so powerful that I can tell you right here, right now, that I can improve your efficiency by 50% if you just follow what I'm telling you to do. Very simple. But a lot of people are just, ah, yeah, like I, yeah, I'm, I'm almost there. I can do it by myself. Well, you didn't do it by yourself until this time. So what tells you that anything is going to change if you continue doing it the same way, right? Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. It's the definition of insanity. So why are you stopping to be insane and then start to do things differently? That is what happened to me. This is how that... I was able to change my results because I stopped tr trying to do it on my own and thinking that, oh, finally I'm going to figure it out on my own and hire someone that has proven that they know what they talk, they're talking about and show me the way. And it's only when I started to follow the instruction and I followed the way that they were doing it that I made the result because in the beginning I was still, okay, like I got the mentorship. I got this, I invested in myself, but I still gonna figure it out on my own. So yes, you invest in yourself, you do the things, but you're still doing it your way because that's, that's the way that you're programmed, that's the way you're conditioned. Which really what I needed to do is I really need to follow my leader, follow my instructor, follow my mentor, follow my coach, follow the person that did it before and showed by their results that they knew what they were talking about and everything changed drastically as a matter of fact and this can happen to you too a lot of people are looking at oh yeah but you know you're different you're lucky you're not living like you know i'm i'm living in mexico and and the wage is very low and and we cannot do this this is a bunch of nonsense because i was into a very small Pueblo where that everybody thought they made it where we were. Everybody were um, like, everybody's really used to do things in their way. And even that as well, that there was such a discrepancy between like the US dollar and the pesos, I still was able to create a great business for myself. So the almost make it and the almost doing the things that yes, I, I almost, I almost got it. You'll never get it. You truly need to make a committed decision that I'm going to change this and I'm going to get into getting things done. I'm going to get it done, right? Stephanie, bonjour, comment ça va? Uh, Stan, Stan the man is here. How you doing? Greg, Selena. Good morning. Zyla is saying, I get a bit all over the place. G great message. I want to create results. I want to do it, not almost do it. Exactly. Zyla, just write me a, uh, just write me a DM and uh, I can see like if there's something that I can help you with. 
that is that is exactly what it is is most people what they're doing is they're working and they're going all over the place and they do all kind of different projects and they almost make it at all of them but ultimately you don't do it you don't make it at all because you almost make it so if you almost make it is you don't the almost is like this this little sentence to make you feel good yeah, I almost made it. Well, if you're going like to play for um, the NHL in hockey, or if you're going to play for the Major League Baseball in baseball, you either you make it or you don't, but you not almost make it. Yeah, but like it says, yeah, I almost made it to the, the Major League Baseball. But did you play a game there? No, no, like I didn't. Well, you didn't make it. So why do you say you almost make it? Well, I was in the triple A. Yeah, but you didn't. So stop me trying to make you feel good about if really your goal was to make it is maybe you should have done a little bit more there to make it. And this is this analysis that we have to see is like, okay, so where my habits were, like did, did I do everything that I could do to make it? Did, was, was I, uh, really dedicated to it, or I preferred partying, and I was not, I was not disciplined, and I was not going to the ballpark early in the morning to train, and that is what is required to be able to do that, right, so you've got, you've got to really, really uh, look at this, and stop this almost club, because ultimately, it means nothing, and uh, and it's very disappointing, ultimately, right? When and just just look at how that you are, uh, like what is that narrative that you're having? And if you are utilizing this, yeah, I almost made it. Well, maybe it's time to make a decision, commit a decision, and say I, I'm making it. I'm gonna get this done, and I'm gonna move over that hurdle, and I'm gonna finally do the things that I really want to do. And if you need help, shoot me, shoot me a message. And uh, someone from my team is going to reach out and we'll see how that we can get you out of the almost group and bring you into the group that we're getting things done because that's what I do. Really, really happy that uh, you took a time to connect today. Um, ça va très bien, Stéphanie. J'espère que... Le, le, le tout se passe super bien maintenant au Québec et vous pouvez sortir un petit peu sans, sans, euh, sans festival d'été cette année. C'est un peu bizarre, mais bon. Like, as you know, I, I speak multiple languages. Uh, this is something I learned very, very late in my life. Uh, I, but I didn't, I won't say I'll, I almost speak different languages. I got, I got to work. And I made it um, part of my toolbox. So now I, I can teach in three different languages. So that is how, this is what needs to be done. If you want, if you want to get out of this almost group and get into the group that we're getting things done. So that's my message for today. I hope that this uh, creates a little spark in your mind and makes you say you know what yeah i'm i'm gonna make i'm gonna get into that group and i'm gonna get things done and uh and feel good about everything i do right because that is your birthright this is you have it in you but you've got to get things done have a spectacular spectacular week and uh i'll see you next week Peace out.